Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa and I am a cruelty free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And today I am doing one of my get ready with me's. This can be super long, this can be super short, I don't know. But I'm doing a get ready with me today and I have at least one topic that I want to talk about and I'm just going to do something really neutral easy going and I'm focusing a little bit on Nabla so I'm going to use the side by side palette from Nabla this has to be their newest palette it looks like this I really like this palette but I don't know if it's anything you want to see that much of so I'm using that um, I'm using the skin realist from Nabla as well and some other products and yeah we will just have to see where this is going so yeah just hop into this and okay i have on my phone like a little notepad app notes maybe just notes and sometimes when i think of a subject i want to talk about i write it down and it's one thing that i have had on this list for quite a while but I haven't talked about it yet and I thought I can talk about it now. And it is about being an introvert and in this... I'm going to say Panini. I saw an Erika Nyqvist video and she was saying Panini. Did she? Yeah. Um, or I'm going to say the thing. Um, so being an introvert during these times <laughs> i don't know if anybody needs to hear this but i just like want to talk about what i think is good with this thing and being an introvert and i don't know if you can say good but i hope you get what i'm saying and like a little disclaimer i'm just only talking from my perspective because it's hard for me to talk about any Everybody else perspective and yeah <laughs> so I am an introvert I have been that I guess for my whole life but it wasn't like that popular to talk about are you an introvert or an extrovert when I was a child so I grew up a little bit with like the picture of me being a little bit strange and just to sort things out an introvert has nothing to do with if you are shy if you have uh, friends or not it's just that when I'm around people it drains my energy and I have to like load myself up with energy alone Versus an extrovert that gets energy for being with people. That is like the main thing. And I think often people like, oh, you're an introvert and you are shy and you don't have that many friends. And okay, I am shy. I have always been. But, or okay, I did identify myself as shy when I was younger. But now I have like realized that I just don't like to small talk. I hate it. And if I don't have anything important to say or anything that gives something to the situation, I don't say anything. So I think it can seen as being shy, but it's not being shy. I really hope you get what I mean and remember English is not my first language and also I have like a period brain right now I'm getting my period in a couple of days and it's like my brain poof it's like I can't connect with my brain <laughs> before me and my boyfriend we were going out and shop some food and I was going to say that we needed to buy eye drops for the cats at the same time that I was picking which shoes I was going to wear and I like couldn't think of the two things 
at once. So I just stood there and like... Is it like my brain has disappeared? Is there an excuse for that? But yeah, I have always identified as shy, but... Maybe I am shy as well. I hate to be in the center of attention. I hate it. If it isn't... Okay, so this is like the main thing with me and I think with a lot of other introverts. I need to be comfortable. Really, really comfortable with the people I am with. Then I can be very outgoing. And uh, I can be in center of attention, but if I'm not comfortable with the persons or the people that I am with, I I just hate it. So everyone of you that has met me, like one time, I'm so sorry if I have seemed boring, because I. Like how I see myself, okay, this is not turning out on the subject that I want to talk about, but we, we might come there. You never know with me. Okay, I don't know the difference in English, I'm sorry. But like how I see myself is not what is in reality. My self-image, I don't know if that is the right word, I'm, I'm sorry. But I was... I don't know if I want to say that I was bullied when I was a child, but nobody wanted to play with me, so I guess I was. And the, I always think that people think the worst of me, like I'm boring, I'm ugly, I'm no fun to be around, and that it's a bit hard <laughs> to meet new people. I have a cat hair like in my eyelashes but some people I meet okay I'm just going to drink some people that I meet I feel like an instant calm um for example we can take Jessica that uh, starts whole with Jessica when I first met her it felt really good and uh, it didn't feel strange at all that is not the usual thing for me but uh, I really 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 felt that like yeah this is somebody that I can be myself with I don't know if it had to be like we've seen each other videos and stuff like that but it's not the usual thing for me but sometimes it actually happens But most of the time, it does not. And like another thing, I, at work and at home, I am... I wouldn't say I'm two different people, but I am confident in the work that I have, even though I sometimes feel like I'm suffering from imposter syndrome. My boyfriend thinks that I'm a hypochondriac. That can't be the right word. Hypochondriac. Okay. I should say. But at work I have a good confidence and I know what I'm doing and then I can like... I have my work self and my own self. And my work self sometimes like drain my home self. Is this getting super super weird and confusing but it's like at work i've talked about this before i am really like outgoing and i'm talking a lot and that's one reason is because i really like my colleagues and i feel comfortable around them and also sometimes that is like my way to cope with things if I'm having it hard at home, in my personal life, sometimes like my coping mechanism is to be super fun at work, so no nobody will notice it. And then when I come home, I am like drained. 
I don't know if that's good, but that's how it is sometimes. I also have been like thinking about getting new friends. But like, I don't know if I have the energy to get new friends. And I don't know if that sounds terrible or not, but like to nurture friendship and to be or trying to be myself around people that I don't know. I don't know. Do I have like, do I have energy for that? I don't know. So when this whole thing happened, the panini, I thought it was kind of like, I'm just talking about my perspective now, but I didn't think it was that, not that much have changed in my personal life, if I'm going to be honest. And I don't know if I should feel bad about saying that or not, because I you know some people their whole life is like upside down. But I think it's mostly it's because I still go to work. Um, I am an essential worker or we don't have this in Sweden because we have never had a lockdown or anything but if it would be I am an essential worker and my boyfriend he's not an essential worker but he like meets his four colleagues and he usually 98% of the time work outside so I think he should still be working even if it was a lockdown because he doesn't meet people more than like just a few that you are allowed to and in Sweden as well as I said we haven't had a lockdown we don't have any like we have recommendations and the bar closes at I think it's 10 now and they can't serve alcohol they are changing this like all the time before it was, they couldn't serve alcohol after 8 o'clock and they had to be closed at um, half past 8. I think they're changing it to like 10 and now we... Yeah, I don't know if it has happened or if it's going to happen. So for me, my life is kind of the same as it was before. And one thing that I thought felt so good now it is okay to be at home and not do anything I do not drink alcohol I haven't done it for I never know how long it might be 10 years now nine years I don't know I don't drink alcohol and often you get like questioned about it like Oh, what did you de do this weekend? <laughs> it's like, I was at home. We didn't go out and I'm like, no, I don't drink alcohol. And then two things can happen. People get very uncomfortable or uh, they start to ask questions. But yeah, I don't <laughs> drink alcohol. I love to be at home. Uh, I love to be at home with uh, my boyfriend and the cats. And that has been good. Now, like during this thing, people are doing that and it's nothing strange about it. So that I think has been really good. Now, nowadays I usually don't care when people like, I think it's strange that I'm not drinking alcohol, but it was so much harder when I was like 25. I think I stopped drinking when I was 22 or 23. I don't know. Maybe it was 22. How old am I now? Am I 30? Has it been 10 years? It might. It might. And now like people don't ask about it and <laughs> that feels kind of good. The only thing though that I hate with this thing that has affected me the most is like almost all of my friends live in another state than I do and also 
my family does. And I haven't visited my friends that live in another city for over a year. And my family I haven't seen. It's almost a year now. It's a year in the beginning of June. And I like... <laughs> In my mind, like, this hasn't get to me that much because now I can live the way I want to and not have people questioning why I am on doing things. But at the same time, the few times I actually meet people, it doesn't happen. And I think that is like me being an introvert is well, I really love to see my friends, but it like <laughs> drains me, even though I can have the most amazing day of my life. I feel a little bit like a kick, but I'm so tired. And it can be the same like with my family. I can be a little bit like drained after it. But it's still like, I miss my friends, I miss my family a lot. I try not to talk about it. And the latest, I haven't been feeling that well. Um, I've told you that things has been going on with my dad. And he finally got some answers and it wasn't... The worst case scenario, thanks God, it felt like I felt a hundred pounds lighter. hundred kilos, is that like 200? It's same. <laughs> um, it felt like a big stone was lifted from my shoulders. But I'm still not 100% sure. I also got, like, I don't know, way back, like, one and a half years ago, a little bit more even, I got some really, really heavy back pain. Um, my spine started to, like, be crooked. It was the worst back pain that I have ever had. And a week ago when I filmed this, it started to come back. And I did go to the chiropractor, chiropract. Maybe I should look up some words, do I? No. <laughs> and uh, she was like, yeah, I, I can see what you're meaning. It seems like it could go that way, but you are not there yet. So I got some exercises and it felt better. I was... At Tuesday, last Tuesday, and on Friday, I woke up without any back pain. So I was like a little bit down when that started to happen. Okay, I don't know. I think I shouldn't take any glitter glue, but I think I really like this. And I think that this whole thing hasn't affected us introverts as much as it has done to you who are extroverts. I don't know, <laughs> but I can like, because like my mom, okay, I'm just going to take away the fallouts. My mom is an extrovert, like a typical extrovert, and she also lives by herself. And I know she, this has been hard for her. She has gotten her second vaccination shot so she can soon <laughs> live a little bit more. Do you know what? I'm going in with a skin realist and I'm going to take it with my hands because I can't like get it to work with a sponge. And I like excuse my hair. It was like a storm outside as I said and it didn't. It was nice to my hair. Maybe this amount, I don't know. 
And now I don't have any primer. Maybe that was a stupid idea. Oh well. It's a little bit late to put on a primer right now. As I think this thing might have been so much harder on an extrovert than on an introvert. But now, more than a year later, I feel that it starts to get to me as well. But like this, not being too close to people outside. I love that. And not to like, no handshakes. I love that as well, but I hate this elbow thing. I think it's so like, can we just stop touching each other? And how is it with you that are watching me? Are you introverts or are you an extrovert? I feel like the people that are introverts, I can like understand <laughs> kind of like how it would be to be an extrovert or like I can understand my mom's frustration um, that you can't like meet people as she usually do. But she has a really hard time to like understand me that I don't miss seeing people in the same way. <laughs> and I don't know if is that like a common thing that Introverts can understand how extroverts feel, but not like the other way around. I don't know. Let me know. Do you know? Are you an introvert that are friends with an extrovert or something like that? Okay. Is this getting into like a psychological video? Oops. Okay, so... Uh, I like the skin realist, but it's always looks a little bit like, I think it looks good in the camera, but it's always a little bit dark when I just have put it on. It needs to like see into my skin, but I really like it. Okay, I have my <laughs> favorite concealer. That is this one, the Body Shop Fresh Nude Concealer. I t took away the stopper and it wasn't like manageable. So I put everything in a jar and do you see? Do you see how much is left? I know that you can get like a lot more when you take out the stopper, but like this, it's insane. Okay, is it like it usually is that I don't know what to talk about more now? Maybe it is. But yeah, so the thing that has affected me the most is that I can't see my friends and my family. And also like... <laughs> I guess it's so different from country to country. Like in Sweden we don't have any rules. Um, we only have recommendations and like events and stuff like... <sighs> theaters and movies saloons, cinemas maybe you say, uh, and concerts and stuff hasn't been because you're not allowed to be too many people at the same place. And how often do I go on concerts? Never because I don't like to be around people. Like sometimes when I talk about what I feel, it feels like I hate everything and everybody. I wouldn't say everybody, but a lot of people. I'm so sorry, I hate. I'm a hater on everything. No, I'm not, but like, people is not my favorite in general. It's like saying that you don't like kids, um, because I don't. And people that have, like my friends that have kids, Sometimes when I say that to some of my friends, they're like, do you hate my kids? And I'm like, no, I don't hate your kids. I hate like kids overall, but some kids I do like. Kids, now I don't know. Do I want to set my base or not? Because I want to have on some a powder products and some cream products. 
Maybe I should fix my eyebrows. Because I'm not that sticky. And we the the I don't know if you say sterilized or castrated sterilized the cats. So it will be no kittens. I'm so sad about that. But like us did we aren't allowed to take kittens on her because I almost said she's blind as a bat, but it's she's deaf like a there any animal that is death except for Astrid, I don't know. And you're not allowed to breathe on them. Then, and uh, Ines, my boyfriend wouldn't want to. But like, I my dream is to have cat kittens. Um, but my boyfriend was like, yeah, but you're not going to be able to sell any of them. And I'm like, no, and is that a problem? We can live with like 50 cats. Um, so we did sterilize both of them. They have like the stitches on their belly and they are not allowed to clean it. And with Astrid it's going fine. She like don't care. She has been trying to do it like three times or something like that. But we just take her head away and she stops. But Ines, she was like a maniac trying to clean it. So we... I bought like this a cone, maybe you say, like a co maybe a color, and uh, she hated it. I have never seen a more unhappy cat, and she's always with me in the morning when I go to the toilet, and like, it stopped recording. Um, yeah, so she's with me every morning at the toilet, Ines, and lies between my legs and the toilet seat. Let's see the toilet and like the cone on. She didn't fit, and she just like sat in front of me instead, looked at me, and just like tipped over. And I'm like, you being a little bit over dramatic. And she just hated that cone, and it was like her ears was like bent back and. Uh, uh, she had that for one day because like when they come home from the wet wet <laughs> the vet um they didn't have any comb because we was like okay we hopefully they can make it without but then I went to the store and bought it but like after one day we was like she can't live with this so we googled a little bit and a lot of people take like paper plates and we did it and it works amazing. She can't reach the wound or the stitches and she can lay down and walk as normal and it doesn't affect her ears so she's a little bit happier. The only thing is she can't like clean herself like she can clean her paws and like her legs. Sometimes I feel like the front legs on a cat is an arm and the back leg is a leg, but all four legs she can clean, but not more than that than her tail. So she's a little bit more happy now, but sometimes she just sitting and looking at us like we feel we should feel sorry for her. And it's like, but yeah, if you don't clean don't need to have this on but you can't keep your dirty little tongue from your belly so you have to have this on yeah. okay. me and my eyebrows we are in a crisis I just hate them right now and it was like it was my boyfriend that took them to the vet and was picking them up and uh, when they called like that he was going to get them it was like, yeah, Ines, she, Ines, <laughs> she was really, really kind. She was the sweetest cat. She got so much. The vet was so pleased with her. And it feels so good to hear that as an owner. So it was like, whew. And then she, <laughs> she said like, yeah. And with Astrid, 
she's nice and everything, but she doesn't want to do anything. She... <laughs> She didn't want to get in the cage, she didn't want to be at the table, and she ripped off her bandage that she had on her arm, um, where I have taken blood. She ripped that off, and like the vet was like, she's, she's really sweet, but she doesn't want to do anything, and that is so typical of Astrid. She's a really, really, really sweet cat, but if she doesn't want to, she doesn't claw you. Yeah, I'm cleaning my brush behind my back. It's not teeth or no claws or anything, but she just, she really shows that like, I do not like this. I do not want this and I'm not going to make it easy for you. Um, but yeah. It felt good at least to know that cats were nice to the vet. And I am so like nervous about this. I hate I hate everything when it comes to the cats when they are going to the vet. But so far everything looks good. We clean around the wound every day and I have gotten some antibiotics. Free shots, so they're the home. So yeah. And they eat. And they, they don't play that much. Every time, because for Ines we have taken off the paper plate um, at least once a day so, so she can clean herself a little bit and then she and Astrid is friends. But as soon as the paper plate goes on, Astrid is like, no, I don't want to be with you. And she just leaves Ines. So hopefully in a week when... It is supposed to be completely healed, or more healed, so she doesn't need to have a paper plate on. They're going to be friends again. You really think that I dig this look? I have used this palette... Is this the fifth time, maybe? I have used it when I have been... I used it once at YouTube, I think. And then I've done some looks when me and my boyfriend has gotten out to eat. And uh, I really like it, actually. I haven't used all the colors yet, but... Or have I? No, I don't think so. But I like it. I think Nala do amazing shadows, both. Like, more colorful and more neutral. Okay, do you know what? I'm actually going to try to put powdery things on my little sticky base. Okay, so for my contour bronzer, I'm going to use this from Novel. This is Ambra. I'm loving this, and I'm using it with this brush. This is a powder brush, I think, from NYX. I use it for this because this is like too small for a powder brush for me. And do you hear now? I do not have anything to talk about. Always the same thing when I'm doing a get rid with me, but I can, as you may know, I am trying to watch all the Disney classics this year. And I yesterday I did watch Chicken Little, and like, who the hell at Disney thought it was a good idea to produce that movie and to like show it to people and have it like a classic. What I read that is like the least successful Disney movie ever and I understand. I don't think anybody has it as the Disney favorite movie. I'm sorry if you do but that movie is shit. It's so bad. It's so bad. Okay, so for my blush, blush situation, blush, blush situation, for my blush, I want to use one of these from NYX. This is some really old, but they still look okay. Bear with me blushes, um, but I don't know which one I want to take. Maybe it's a pink one, but is that going to be like too pink? Maybe not. Because the sh shimmer shade I have is like a little bit of duochrome with pink. 
to it and this is in creative cleanse and I'm just taking a stippling brush with this and just stippling it out on my face and another thing that is that I've seen the latest that was not that good um, me and uh, my boyfriend we watched all American Horror Stories American Horror Story seasons and I liked the series I liked that it is um, completely different stories every season and we just watched 1984 bad so bad I think my favorite is I really like the first season and I like the hotel season I don't I think it was maybe number five with Lady Gaga and I liked um, the third one I think it was with the witches but like this 1984 and I think that the one before was the a couple a couple of little loops a couple we just hold it a little bit apocalypse apocalypse I didn't think that was good either but this 1984 so bad <laughs> and I was like I was going to google it so I just typed in and you can type in on google like American Horror Story 1984 I typed in and then it comes like things that people have googled and like I think the first suggestion was why is it so bad and it's far from the worst thing I've seen but I didn't like it okay I'm just going to spray my face with my setting spray. I like never talk about this. This is my one of my absolute favorite setting sprays, but I don't talk about it because I think it is I don't think it's available anymore, but I bought more than one bottle <laughs> when it was going out, but I really like it. Okay, I'm going to spray this. Okay, I really do like this base. I think maybe the blush was a little bit heavy. Or maybe a little bit too bright, but you know what? I don't care. But this skin realist, I really like it. And now I think it looks <laughs> the ear is in the way. I think it looks better. It's good. And it's just going to look better and better the longer I have it on. Okay, so for my wash line, I think I will go in with something just to have something there. I go in with the <laughs> Uh, this pen, this is Honey Dude from Colourpop. I really like this one. It's just something like to brighten it up. And another thing that has happened in my life. I think I am allergic to something. <laughs> I don't know if it's pollen or if it's animals. Because like on my mother's side, everybody's allergic to cats. And dogs and horses. <laughs> But like my nose cannot stop flooding and uh, my throat is like getting thick and I do not have uh, the thing again. Um, I am tested so it's not that and I bought some of these like allergies tablets. And it felt better, but I don't know, it maybe it's just... Did I imagine it? I don't know. But like, if I am allergic to cats, I don't want to know. Because I'm not going to do anything about it. But these pills, I bought like the cheapest ones. Big mistake. And I took one this morning because I woke up with like, my throat was so thick. <sighs> I'm so tired. Like... At one o'clock, I was asleep. Uh, I was watching YouTube and then I fall asleep. Okay, do you know how to choose a lipstick for this? Maybe I could let down my hair. 
Okay, I think I will take this from Lethal. This is in Rome. I don't know though how it looks. How light it is. I actually like their lipstick. I don't use them that often on camera, but... It's often that I use them outside of YouTube and I really like them. And I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm not taking a red today. And you know what? <laughs> I think this is the end of the get rid of me. I think it's getting pretty long. I think I've filmed for almost an hour. I will see how much I will cut out. And I love that I feel that I am going to have like a theme in the beginning and then it like spirals out of control and I'm talking about so many other things. But I really like how the how this look came out and I start to think about that when I'm doing it red with me is that I'm going to do a more of a neutral look because I know for myself when I'm looking at get red with me I usually just listen to them like podcast and don't am 100% like checking what the creator is doing so it feels like I don't want to do like a super fun, colorful, bright look when I'm doing a Get Red With Me because maybe just some of you are listening or doing your makeup together with me. And also, I feel like this is thing in the beauty community, the, the colorful beauty community. It's like you can't do a neutral look because you are not colorful then. I am colorful and I love colorful looks but I also really like this and sometimes I'm not going to do anything today <laughs> I'm going to do some veggies in the oven now and then a little bit later me and my boyfriend are going to eat dinner I usually don't do anything special when I do my makeup because I don't go out because I'm an introvert to love being at home but I hope you get what I mean so yeah I really hope you liked this Get Red With Me. I think you can see on me that I feel better. And uh, a lot of it has to do with my dad. That it wasn't the worst case scenario. He is still not himself. But he's getting better. And he got his first vaccination shot. So hopefully... When I am on summer leave from work, I can visit my parents and I can be with my parents. I really hope that. I am not going to get my those in, I don't know, I'm like furthest down on priority list. But the thing that I'm going to do before I go on vacation is I'm going to take a test and see if I still have antibody. Okay, whatever, it's like two months until I go on summer leave but yeah i <laughs> hope you like this get red with me and thank you for hanging with me and if it's something special you want me to talk about i can try to do that i think i only have one thing left on my little notepad notepad thingy and that is that i'm i don't know i have to f i don't know how to do this but i am going to talk about meeting the love of your life at 17 because that's what I did. Did that sound like a really bad movie? I don't know. But thank you for hanging out with me. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!